I want to talk a little bit more about the method of substitution as it applies to functions involving e to the x or natural log. But first of all, let's go over um, these derivative formulas really quick. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And that's, uh, that's where we get the integral formula for e to the x, right? All we have to do is reverse this. The integral of e to the x is e to the x plus c. And which one of these do we use for the antiderivative? We always use this formula for the antiderivative of 1 over x because the domain of this, <clears throat> of this formula is all real numbers except 0. The domain of this formula is only the positive numbers. This, this is only true on the positive numbers, so it's not as good a formula to use for your antiderivative. So that's why we, we say that the integral of 1 over x dx is natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. <clears throat> now, every derivative formula can be turned into an integral formula. We remember that. Um, one of the key problems with these formulas is, the, is that people sometimes misuse them. And I want to show you an example of how that can happen um, right now. For example, uh, integrating e to the 3 plus 0.4x. Now, this is not exactly the same as e to the x. But some people might be tempted to just say, well, using this formula, it would be e to the 3 plus 0.4x plus c. But I want to show you that this is not, this is not correct. Um, the derivative, you differentiate the answer. You should get the original function that you were integrating. So the derivative of that is going to be, you take the derivative of e to anything, and you get e to that power, e to the 3 plus 0.4x, times the derivative of 3 plus 0.4x, and that's 0.4. Okay, This is not what we started out with in the integral. So this is not true. Okay, so you can't just use this formula directly. Same thing here. Um, this looks a lot like it's it's of the same form as, you know, one over x dx. I have one over two minus five x dx, right? And I can write this as one over two minus five x. And so shouldn't that be the natural log of the absolute value of two minus five x plus c? Well, you'll see it's not. Let's differentiate the answer and see if we get the original. Uh, the original function back again. The derivative of natural log of the absolute value of 2 minus 5x plus c is, well, first of all, the derivative of natural log of the absolute value of something is just from this formula back here. right? It's just 1 over that something. But here, we'll have to use the chain rule. So it's 1 over 2 minus 5x times the derivative of 2 minus 5x, which is negative 5. And the derivative of the plus c is just 0. Well, right now I can see that this is not the same. I started with 1 over 2 minus 5x, and I ended up with 1 over 2 minus 5x times negative 5. So this is not right. OK, so both of, these, both of these examples I just did are incorrect. The way to integrate these is using the method of substitution. And we'll show you this in upcoming examples.